Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Maylene. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to do a weekend vlog to show you guys what I'm up to for this long three-day weekend. We have the MLK holiday on Monday, so I have the day off. Today is Saturday, January 15th, and I had some things planned for today, like getting my hair trimmed and going shopping and checking out a market. So we're gonna go together and I'll take you guys along with me. This is what my hair looks like right now. I'm just getting a quick trim, so it probably won't look much different. I wanted to get like some face, face framing pieces here and just get the ends like cleaned up. So yeah, shouldn't be much difference. I just got finished up with my haircut. It was only like 15 minutes I was in the salon. It was super fast. I love going to this hair salon. The auntie and uncle that run the place are so sweet. And every time I go there, we always talk about how I'm doing, how my family's doing since I've been going there for so many years. But every time I go there, like they know exactly what I want. My hair looks perfect. It looks exactly the same, which is what I wanted because I just wanted to trim. They put in some freshened up layers and some face framing pieces. So now when I tie my hair up and stuff, let me show y'all like when I tie my hair up they'll just be like some pieces here that are like not too long yeah fast easy simple I love it so next stop for today is the Atlanta artisans market oh my gosh I haven't vlogged in so long so this feels kind of awkward outside the market right now to take a little lunch break when I was walking around I saw that there are these little like it was a stand that sold pies like handheld pie kind of things I'll show you guys in a second so I got two of them for lunch and literally when I bought them I thought I was finished like making my rounds and looking at all the vendors but there was literally a whole nother room full of like skincare vendors so I'm gonna go back in there after I finish eating and take a look at that I just left the Atlanta Artisans Market. I tried to get as much footage as I could and I'm gonna try to like tag or like mention the companies that, or the, the vendors that I was showing because there were a lot of really good vendors. They had like so many items this time. They had lots of vintage clothing vendors and secondhand vendors and also a lot of like skincare brands and soaps. So yeah, it was really cool and they had some food and the food was delicious. I'm so glad I got that mushroom pie so good but yeah that was a really really great time i'm so glad i went there but now i am heading off somewhere else right, the next stop i have planned for today is called g ones g wants i think that's how you say it but it's basically one of my homies clothing shops he does uh he sells like shoes like sneakers and lots of hype wear and also vintage and street wear type clothes so i'm definitely gonna go check it out i've been there before but he recently had to shut down after like a really bad situation that happened at his shop so i had to close down for a while but today's a reopening day so i definitely want to go show some support and see if we can go cop some thing 
I don't know. We'll see. Let's go take a look. Well, I just got here. This is what the shop is like. It's cute. Let's go. I just woke up from a nap and I wanted to show you guys what I bought from today's market and from Jiwon's clothes. So the first thing I got from the Atlanta Artisans Market was from one of the clothing vendors 5 to $10 clothing bin that they have on the ground. I love these clothing bins because you can find such cute clothes for such a good price. It's actually where I bought like this Tommy Hilfiger shirt. It was from one of the vendors like $5 bins from a couple weeks back. So. This time, I found these Adidas track pants with red and white stripes. This is a size medium. I believe it's a men's size medium, so I'll show you guys what it looks like on. This is what they look like. They're super cute. They're a little bit long because it's a medium. I'm usually a small, but definitely this is a good fit for that baggier look. It is super cute. The second piece I got from Atlanta's Artisan Market was also from another $5 bin. This one was actually $5 and not like more than that. So it's just this black jogger type pants. And this one is from Express in a size extra small. That's nice. We're always a big fan of pockets when it comes to girl pants. Yes. Cute, if I do say so myself. And it was only $5, which is less than a Starbucks venti drink. So those were the two items that I got from the Atlanta Artisan Market. And I just got one item from Jiwon's clothing shop. And it's this Reebok sweatshirt. When I saw this one, I was like, wow, like, it looks like something I would already have in my closet. So I really had to pick it up. So I felt like just by looking at it, I was like, dude, this looks like something I would wear. So very excited to wear this piece. This is Reebok in a size medium. And this is what the Reebok sweatshirt looks like on. It is super cute. Yes, I love it. I love this vintage style. It's super comfortable. Already worn in. Like, I love this. I love it. So those are all the clothes. It's only like three pieces that I got today. I'm really trying to minimize the amount of stuff I buy. So I feel like with that mission in mind, we did pretty good today because the three items that I got, I feel like are clothes that I can wear like all the time and for hopefully many, many years. So that's super exciting. The only other thing I've got planned for today is to go out for some dinner. So I'm probably going to just show you guys the dinner that I'm going to and the food because the, honestly, this restaurant I'm going to is like the restaurant I go to all the time. It's my favorite restaurant. I love this place. So definitely going to share it so you guys can enjoy it as well. And after food, that's probably going to be the end of my Saturday's part for this vlog. So probably see you guys tomorrow, like in 30 seconds.
Hello y'all, reporting to you guys live from back inside my car. It is now Monday, January 17th. It's MLK holiday. And today what I got planned is to get my dragon tattoo shaded in. So I am here at the tattoo studio. I did show my initial dragon tattoo vlog in my last YouTube video. So I'll link that down below if you're interested in watching. I'm not sure how much of today's like tattoo session I'm gonna film for this YouTube video. So if you're interested in seeing more of that tattoo, I would recommend checking out my first tattoo video because I don't think I'm gonna film like too much. I definitely don't wanna bring my camera in there because it's kind of like a whole scene whenever I carry my camera around. So I'm probably just gonna film a little bit with my phone and maybe make a reel for my Instagram. I don't know. But I will show you guys what my tattoo looks like right now and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. This is my tattoo. Oh my God, this angle's so bad. Let me try to fix this for you. So yeah, this is my tattoo right now. It is healed from the first session. I just need to get the dragon shaded in. So right now it's just the flowers that are shaded. I don't know if that's focusing. There you go. Yep. So the flowers are shaded. Dragon needs to be shaded. But I'm super excited to get it finished up today. So yes, I will show y'all what it looks like when it's done. Hey guys, I am back in my room right now. It's still Monday, it's Monday night. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get that much footage today. All I did was really go get my tattoo and then after I got home, I was just so exhausted that I just washed off my tattoo and took a nap. Miko wants to be in this end clip. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching my vlog and what I was up to this weekend. Definitely this weekend was way more eventful than my normal weekend because I don't usually do that much. And it was super fun to see Miko playing in the snow. I hope you guys enjoyed all that footage. And if you want to stay up to date or see how my tattoo heals up and all that, then definitely check out my Instagram at Topic May. And if there's, sorry, if there's, <laughs> if there's any uh, comments, questions, or suggestions for new videos, just let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to like and subscribe if you're interested for more. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great one.